Unit 17 North Carolina Key Point Review. Appraisal is an estimate or opinion of value based on supportable evidence and appraisal methods defined by the Uniform Standards of Appraisal Practice and set by the Appraisal Foundation's Appraisal Standards Board. An appraiser must be state licensed or certified for an appraisal performed as part of a federally related transaction. A comparative market analysis, also called a CMA, is a report by a real estate broker of market statistics, but it is not an appraisal. It is used to guide probable sales price decisions by seller and buyer clients. It is a client-level service. A CMA should declare a range for probable sales price whereas an appraisal delivers a specific appraised value. In North Carolina, an active full, non-provisional broker can perform a broker's price opinion, also known as a BPO, for a non-brokerage client for a fee, as long as the BPO is in writing and contains all contents required by law. Value is created by demand, utility, scarcity, and transferability of property. You can remember these four words by the acronym DUST. I repeat, for your memorization, value is created by demand, utility, scarcity, and transferability of property. Market value is the most probable price that property should bring in an open market with the parties acting knowledgeably and prudently without undue influence, but not necessarily the same as price paid or cost to construct. Forces influencing value are social, economic, political, and physical. Economic principles of value include the following, highest and best use, substitution, this is the basis for sales comparison approach, supply and demand, conformity, anticipation, contribution, competition, change. A sales comparison approach makes use of sales of properties comparable to the property that is the subject of the appraisal by adding or subtracting the value of the feature present or absent in the subject property versus the comparable. If the comparable property is inferior to the subject, make a positive adjustment to the value of the comparable. If the comparable property is superior to the subject, make a negative adjustment to the value of the comparable. Remember to never adjust the value of the subject. Comparable properties should be as similar as possible to the subject property. For a good indication of value, at least three comps should be used. Sales should have occurred within the last 12 months under typical market conditions. The adjusted sales prices of the comps should never be averaged without giving weight to the better comps. The cost approach estimates current reproduction, or replacement cost of constructing building and other property improvements using the square foot method, the unit in place method, the quantity survey method, and estimates accrued depreciation using the straight line method, or by estimating items of physical deterioration, functional obsolescence, or economic obsolescence. The income capitalization approach is based on the present value of the right to future income, and uses the following five steps. 1. Estimate annual potential gross income. 2. Deduct allowance for vacancy and rent loss to find effective gross income. 3. Deduct annual operating expenses to find net operating income. 4. Estimate rate of return for subject by analyzing cap rates of similar properties. 5. Derive estimate of subject's market value by applying cap rate to annual NOI using this formula, net operating income divided by capitalization rate equals value. A simple approach to deriving value on small income producing properties is the gross rent multiplier method, sales price, gross rent, income equals GRM work in, the GRM, GIM times income equals value. Reconciliation is the process by which the validity and reliability of the results of the approaches to value are weighed objectively to arrive the appraiser's final opinion of value.